I was really nervous. I was really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like sweaty and nervous and <laughs> not, you know, yeah. <laughs> this isn't a hospital, it's a cage. So, uh, Maisie, I saw you dancing a little bit. Are you guys excited to finally get to talk about and promote this project? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm excited for people to see it. I feel like we've been talking about it and promoting it for like three years. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone like to share their first time? Rain? I was 13. I thought it was a dream. I just lost control. Has it been hard to keep all the secrets? Yeah. I mean, in my case, everybody asked me a bunch of very specific questions that the trainer yeah. brought. And I'm like, uh, I don't know what I can answer. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Maisie, I feel like you, you're you kind of a pro at that from your, your past projects. Oh, yeah. I'm very good at just being like, can't say anything and like smiling <laughs> and like smile away. <laughs> <laughs> this does have so many elements that this built in fan base loves so much. But, you know, it also touches on, I think, things that people are really dealing with right now mental health. Did you guys think at all about how this movie is coming out at a time when people are really struggling with loneliness, with mental health? And I don't know if you thought at all about you know, even your own experiences, how you've been doing in the pandemic and, and how this movie might connect for fans. I think the movie is more relevant now than it would have been three years ago. And I think it's actually really cool that it's coming out now because I, I, I really do think it's the perfect movie for people to watch. Um, they're trapped and people are trapped and it's really, yeah, about confronting yourself, which I think a lot of people are doing right now. Um, if you're not struggling in other ways, um, and you almost kind of have the privilege to self-reflect, um, then that's kind of what you're doing. And so I, I think this movie kind of hits all angles of what's going on right now. The reason you survived is because you're a very uncommon girl. It's important we find out your power so we can help you get better. It's very interesting what, what Blue said because it makes reflect like the characters are going through. But what is beautiful, I, I loved since I read the script, is that these characters, they're teenagers, and when you're a teenager, you're figuring out about life and you're accepting who you are and accepting others and, and understanding the world. And I think all of us are going through this a lot right now, but the movie shows something, how unity is important. And I think that's what we're going through right now. So it's really important, especially for the young people to understand their power as a strength and then I think the movie shows that I think it's going to be very inspiring for a bunch of people hopefully well and it it is so um inclusive I mean Blue and Maisie how did you guys uh, feel knowing that these main characters are in this queer relationship and, and you get to bring it to this mainstream movie uh Maisie I'll start with you yeah I thought I I loved um I love just the arc between the two of them and the way that Rain really becomes like a different person towards the end of the movie since meeting Danny. And I think like that is like a love story is so, is something to really look up to. I think that it's rare um, in like superhero films or action movies that you get to see a relationship which is like as healthy as this one is for both parties. Um, but I also love that it wasn't like labeled like these girls are just in love with one another and they're attracted to one another when they first see each other and there's no like labels or I don't think any of the mutants ever even mention it and it's just like normalized and I think like it's time for that now like we're way past. Yeah. Yeah, it's we're not made the Yeah, yeah. Uh, Blue, I, I guess I have to ask, because I, I, I would ask anyone, but I don't know if you were a Game of Thrones fan, but were you at all <laughs> nervous? Like, I gotta go <laughs> and kiss me <Mason> now. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I was a Game of Thrones fan. I was one of the people who started watching it, like, really, really, really late, though, you know? Like, um, and I, I was, like, a fan. I was really nervous. I was really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like... I, I was like sweaty and nervous and <laughs> not, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna be honest, I was nervous, but it was the weird, like the second I got in there, I mean, I've never been the kind of person, I'm not like a, I'm not like a fan. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not, I've never, I've always, I've lived in LA for so long and I'm from yeah. California. So I think like actors and like people are, which I've just always been around. So it, 
when I walked in, I was just like, okay. It was less like being nervous and more like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I want to work with people like Maisie. So like the nervousness yeah. kind of went aside and it just turned into like being so like proud of myself for even getting into that room to kiss her. I love that. <laughs> Inspirational. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, like, it doesn't matter if you're kissing like an actor, like kissing a stranger when there's like a camera and like a bunch of producers just like entertain us, like, <laughs> that's just like uncomfortable. Right. Well, Blue, uh, you moved past the, the, the nerves and you guys have now made this awesome movie. What would you tell fans uh, about what it's been like to work with these two and what they're gonna love about the movie? It's really been like a serious life-changing honor. I mean, I've met like two, I mean, I consider Alicia and Maisie to both be my friends now. And like people I would just hang out with in my life. And like, that's really, it's cool to go do something and to come away with friends, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Um, but no, really, cause you don't, you don't all the time. Like it's just yeah. work really. Um, uh, and I would uh, tell fans to expect also fun. Like, is is it? It's thrilling and suspenseful and emotional. But I think after, while I was watching it and when I, after it was finished, I was like, it's just like fun. And I, I don't think we talk about that enough about how it, it is kind of like there's like really silly, funny moments. It's about a bunch of teenagers. Like, it's very self-aware. And um, yeah. I think that's really cool. And it's actually just kind of like thrilling and like cute you know yeah, yeah. it's awesome. really exciting to see you to see what we we're saying yesterday that even though like these characters they're dark and they're going through pain and like our our code name was growing pains and all that <laughs> the film with their energy it's actually showing how you can overcome that and empower yourself and transforming that into something positive instead of being something dark but into yeah. something that is going to propel you to the future i think it's exciting well, I've got to wrap with you guys, but I hope you're all okay in the pandemic. And the movie's finally coming out. It's coming. Yes! <laughs> coming. <laughs> all right, good to talk to you, ladies. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Lauren. Bye. You're not alone. Not anymore. Do you know what mutants are? I don't think we're here to get better. This place takes your greatest fear and makes you live through it until it kills you. Who's there? We can get out of this together.